Hi guys, welcome to this full review about this big blue 100 watts ETFE solar panel. Yeah, this thing says big blue folding solar charge with PD60 watts type C plus 19 volts DC plus USB output lightweight portable IP65 waterproof compatible with laptops, generators, RV battery, cell phone and so on so on. It's listed on Amazon currently for $200 with Prime has pretty good reviews and so I thought I'm going to try that and show everything about the thing to you. So this is the size and you can really see it's much smaller than these standard uh, size uh, solar panels which you usually have even the portable ones I've already tested one also on my channel and the panel size I would say is about 50% and so that's the uh, transportation like bag size which is pretty cool if you really want to take it with you on uh, travel or so that's the really nice thing so it's really really small I have seen smaller ones but this is already pretty small does it mean it's also lightweight no it's definitely not it actually does not have uh, much less weight than full-size panels that's the disadvantage here I can tell you it's really really uh, heavy don't expect that you can take this just in your backpack even if it would fit into your backpack maybe you would carry this for 15 minutes or so but definitely not a whole day it's not working unless you're Arnold Schwarzenegger or somebody like that but it's still nice to have something small even if you want to carry that just in your car or maybe I don't know maybe for a motorcycle or so definitely that would fit uh, and the larger size don't fit so uh, it has a lot of uh, advantages regarding the size uh, it is 100 watts uh, which is about the same as uh, any other uh, panel uh, in this size I mean when we are talking about the total size of solar so it has about average efficiency I would say uh, does it have only advantages no it has also couple of disadvantages and I have tested this today and this is what I have found so here is how we open that yeah makes a lot of noise it has this velcro opening or closing or a safety thing uh, yeah I'm not too worried about that but actually I would prefer a normal lock instead of the velcro but I think it, it, it shouldn't be a problem I, I'm not expecting to fall out pretty soon or so here we have the panels and now I have folded them like this I can't really remember how it was at the beginning but I think it was about that so yeah I think it's not too difficult to fold actually uh, when I opened it for the first time I was a little bit worried about that that I couldn't uh, put it back but you can really easily feel how this has to come the problem is just that the size is a little bit limited here uh, you have to really take it apart like this and then it's still folded and then you have to uh, fold up the whole thing again so you will see the panels at the end because this is just the back of the panels uh, but don't worry I'm going to show you enough pictures and videos about that this is just uh, me talking here and showing the real thing so you can see that uh, in real life here the thing is i mean they are pretty stable really pretty sturdy i would say i'm not fearing that anything happened too fast it's just a little bit we have so many of these panels and so i think uh, if you are not very careful these things could break uh, sooner than normal panels where we have just one row let's say maybe five or six panels uh, beside each other and just one row here we have two rows there are so many small panels but we still have a lot of weight and so if you are not careful 
I think this is a little bit more dangerous than with normal panels. They have a little bit less stability. I mean, they are built really, really nicely. Yeah, I think here on the side, I can show you that a little bit, how they look here. Uh, but it's really difficult to see these things, especially with this camera and this light. But I think they are as good as they get. It's just the design problem. When you want to make it smaller, you have to make the panel smaller and then it, it has less stability. And what makes it even worse, the problem if you have so many uh, panels, it's not possible to have a stand or almost impossible and they really don't have a stand. I haven't seen any uh, similar uh, very small uh, solar panels like this one here which comes with a stand so usually when you buy the larger panels which have maybe just five or six panels they usually come with a stand it's like a flap you can just put it here and then you can put it up and uh, you don't have to put it on the ground these things you have to put on a table or on the ground with normal panels you have a stand and that's a huge advantage it has not only one advantage it has even more advantages first advantage is uh, or disadvantage here when you, when you have solar panels flat on the floor they get very hot i mean they don't get damaged usually but the efficiency goes down the more heat you have on the panel the less the efficiency it's it's a huge difference i, I can tell you I mean, I've been measuring around 65 watts maximum, I would say. Uh, we had really good sun. I mean, maybe not perfect sun. Uh, maybe in perfect sun, I would say you get maybe 70 watts or so. But that's it unless you uh, put it on, on a stand or so. But when you have it just flat on the floor, they are overheating and uh, they are not delivering more than about 65 or 70 watts. And second disadvantage is they cannot provide any kind of shade or cover for power stations. So I'll put this a little bit on the side to show you what I mean. So for this I'm going to show you the size of such uh, power stations we usually use. I would say this is an average size. I have already tested a couple of them and this is a very powerful good one uh, but the problem is they have some decent size it's not just like a power bank and if you have a solar panel with large panels which are a little bit uh, larger than this maybe yeah double the size but just half the amount of the panels then and, and it comes with this stand you can easily cover the power station something like that i mean this is just like a, a, as a sample imagine the solar panels would be much larger and it has a stand here you can easily put these power stations underneath the shade of these solar panels and it's not only shade which is already really important because these batteries shouldn't get too hot it's a huge advantage this uh, you shouldn't forget about that the and the second thing is that it can also provide some protection against the rain not only against the sun these are two really really important things and you cannot uh, achieve this with this small thing and there's even a third uh, advantage when you have larger panels with a stand you can point the panels towards the sun and get even additional efficiency compared to have it just uh, flat on the floor especially in the morning and evening hours you really have to be aware of that i'm not saying it's bad i mean it has been working good it just has some limitations because of the size and because it doesn't have any stand. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the thing. Uh, it has been able to really charge or put a decent charge on this power station. I can show you how I was using that even uh, here. This cable is coming with the power station from here i mean every power station is a little bit different sometimes you have these cables or ports then you have sometimes other cables here by the way we have also this pocket which is pretty much standard when you buy such solar panels you have this pocket you have the controller and then you have some cables and some adapters what i've been using in this case 
uh, I've been using these clamps here. Yeah, it was a little bit uh, quick and dirty solution, but I didn't find anything. That's the good thing with this uh, solar panel here that we get this uh clamps here so you can attach this here and if you have some free cables you can connect and i've been uh putting this thing here and then i connected black to black and red to red and i have been leaving this in the direct sun and it has been charging really good i've also been trying with another power station i removed this is a little bit dangerous with these open ends here with the other power station i've been using this cable here and there was some connection cable i mean this is pretty much standard size i would say this is the most common size and there was an adapter cable on the other uh, power station and i was using directly then the plug i mean there's a solar uh, plug i mean this is something specifically which you don't see but a lot of these power stations have it and so with this thing you can attach a lot of things and if it's not matching you can use one of them and uh, actually yeah here we have it already so, yeah i think that's no that's not that i mean that's another Thing which is pretty common but it's another it was another one which it looks uh, similar so usually uh, you shouldn't have any problems I mean it's really good regarding the cables and uh, plugs and ports and everything by the way uh, we have some uh, USB-C as well quick charge 3.0 normal USB DC I've been testing uh, the type C and it has been showing uh, support of almost everything like quick charge up to 60 watts uh, that should definitely work what's really bad here another thing which is actually the third uh, thing which i don't like with this solar panel is that the uh, pocket here is in the back so if you open everything if you unfold everything and then the a pocket or the opening of the pocket is uh, on the downside so you cannot just put the thing uh, on, the, on the side and then open that because this is uh, underneath everything so when you have the solar panels on top this will be uh, down here so this is uh, covered i mean not covered by panels but covered by this pocket here and yeah, maybe i'll open that here so yeah, I, I can show that better uh, what we see what's good here we have a waterproof zipper that's the good thing but there's no opening here i mean you can take out a cable here and then close from both sides at any place that's good but still there's no specific opening but here you can see how this looks so when we have unfolded all the solar panels this would be like that at the end you can see solar panels are then to the top and this thing here is uh, protected the pocket is underneath uh, to the downside this is totally uh, bad construction i don't know why this is maybe they just made a mistake this should be on top i mean uh, of course it's better when you have it wrapped uh, to have it on the outside because if you had it on the inside it would a uh, little bit interfere with the solar panels it would uh, push too much maybe the cables uh, I, I really no clue but they should have made at least like an opening or additional zipper here something like that that's really very inconvenient uh, i can tell you so uh, actually everything is working from technical side it's just uh, design flaws or design problems with this small size of panels but apart from that yeah everything is working it's just your decision what size and what type you are buying if you don't really need these super small panels stay away from small panels they may look very good but it's not even uh, less weight and it takes a lot of the advantages of other solar panels away especially regarding uh, shade and uh, rain or yeah weather protection so it's your decision at the end 
and I'm actually pretty happy with it and I can give you I would say more or less recommendation on that if you really like it and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out all the time from there if you like it but I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time